Hello Internet! After about two years of watching YouTube videos non-stop pretty much, I finally decided to take the plunge and upload one myself. So welcome to my channel. So I thought that uh, for my first video I would upload a short haul. I went shopping yesterday, I went to the mall and got a few things that I've been wanting to get for a while from Sephora. I also went to MAC and got some eyeshadows that I can't believe I didn't have before. Um, so I finally got them and used them today and I love them. On to makeup. I walked out of Sephora with one of these little bags of goodness and happiness. These always make me so excited. I love the tissue paper, I love the bag, I love it all. Um, I think the number one thing that I got that I'm super excited about is this pencil by Hourglass, which is relatively new to Sephora in Canada. I think we've only had it for maybe about a year or even less. And um, unless you can't tell, I'm obsessed with eyeliner and th that's exactly what this is. It's pretty much the finest tip I have ever seen on a liquid eyeliner pen ever. In fact, it's so fine that my camera can't even see it, but here it is teeny teeny tiny and I'm super excited to start using that um, from what I can tell it's also extremely pigmented and it can draw like really fine lines or really thick lines which is great and should be pretty useful for me because I wear eyeliner every single day it is my staple number one favorite product so along the same lines I also got some eyeliner pencils from Makeup Forever and I love these. I think they're actually better than the Urban Decay ones. So I've been wanting to get a brown one for a while. And that's this one in 2L. And then I got a silver one too. But it's still packaged, sadly. So I need to try and peel that off. I don't know why they make this so hard to take off. Anyway. Here's a swatch, better late than never. And this is the silver color, which is so, so pretty. It's like liquid metal. You can see that really well, actually, which is awesome. So I'm excited to try those. Um, before, I've had a kind of bronzy one that I used to wear during the summer along my lower lash line, and it stayed on amazingly, like, all day without the slightest bit of wear. I think the secret to them is that they have a kind of um, gel formula that stays on really, really well, like better than creamier type pencils that tend to smudge throughout the day. Um, this lip product is one that I've been wanting to try for a while as well, given that darker, sort of vampy lips seem to be huge for fall, and they're kind of outside of my comfort zone because, um, well, as the name of this channel suggests, I tend to like more kind of glossy pink lips, unsurprisingly. Um, so this, hopefully, will be a good medium for me. And it's the Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey, and it has really nice packaging. It's like half wood and half metal. You can see it here. It looks insanely dark in the packaging, like something that I would never buy. But I'd heard that it's actually pretty easy to wear, and I think that was right because you can kind of see on my hand how kind of light and transparent it is. And really, it's more of like a gel like stain than anything else when you blend it out, really. It's just a slight tint. So I think I will actually really like that, and it will be a good way for me to try sort of different lip look than I would normally go for. Um, and then finally, from my favorite brand from blush for blushes, I got this Amazonian Clay Blush. And this is the color Exposed. And it looks like something that you would never buy in blush because, I don't know, modern wisdom tends to suggest that blush should be pink or coral, and those are always the prettiest colors when you look at the... like at what's available in the store. But I'm wearing this today, and I absolutely love it. It's really easy to wear and it gives your face a kind of bronzy look, unsurprisingly, because it's actually pretty similar 
color to bronzer. I'd say it's a little bit pinker than bronzer and maybe a little bit silkier as well. Um, I usually use the Tarte Park Avenue Princess bronzer, the waterproof one, without the glitter and I really like that one. And I'd say it's maybe about two shades darker than this and a little bit more sort of orangey brown, whereas this one has a hint of kind of tan pink to it. And it's surprisingly easy to wear. It just really blends into your skin. I'll do a swatch, but you probably won't be able to see it. And I think for this, actually, that it's sort of so discreet is a really good sign. And it's kind of exciting to try something that's a bit different to my usual sort of pinky, bronze, sparkly blushes that I would normally go for. So, on to the final thing, which is the new MAC eyeshadows I got. I did a Back to MAC, which was exciting for me because I had been amassing empty eyeshadow pots and broken bronzers for like months. So finally, I went over to the MAC store, and if you go to Free Stand Standing MAC store, in case you don't know, you can bring back six empty products and they will give you a free thing of either eyeshadow, lipstick, um, or I believe lip gloss as well. So these are the ones that I got and I'm super, super excited about them. The first one is Sable. And here it is. And of course it's not showing up very well. I'm going to get a better camera, by the way. But I'm waiting for the tripod to arrive. So there we go. Do a little swatch for you. And it's just a beautiful plummy brown. That's the first one. Second, I've been trying to get some more matte shadows because I find that when I go to the store I'm never really attracted to those. They don't look very exciting in the packaging. I like things that are shiny and pretty and have a little bit of shimmer to them. But that said, combined with sh shimmery eyeshadows, matte eyeshadows can actually really balance the look and sometimes I even have been wearing matte, just matte eyeshadows together and sort of liking that look actually. It's a little bit more natural and strangely also like I think a bit more modern to wear those together. It sort of blends into the rest of your look which I like. And this is Wedge which is a matte eyeshadow from MAC. Um, what else did I get? I also got a new highlighter and that is one of the things that I'm always looking for. I love my eye highlighter. I wear it every single day along my brow bone and inner corners. I'm obsessed with it. But I find that it's really hard to find ones that are pigmented and look good on my really pale skin. So I got yogurt, which I really like. It doesn't have quite as much color payoff as I was hoping for. But it's a really flattering sort of pinky white that isn't too stark because sometimes if you wear really, really white eyeshadow as a highlighter, even on my skin tone, it really shows up and looks a bit too frosty. So that I do like about yogurt is that it doesn't do that too much. And then finally, I got two more darker shadows to go and do some more smoky looks because I love smoky eyeshadow looks. And over here we have Smut, which is a velvet shade with a little tiny bit of shimmer. And it's going to be a good option for me to keep me away from using too much black and it will look a little bit softer. So I'm excited to try that out probably along the inner V or to smoke out my new brown eyeliner. And then we have Handwritten, which I think may have been limited edition at some point, but I'm not 100% sure. But in any case, my MAC store still had it, and I think a lot of them do. So it's just a really pretty matte shade, but it goes on really, really smoothly, which I love. So, sort of dark brown espresso color, and you can see like how well it shows up right there. So I love those, and it's also exciting for me because by getting these new shades, I have now completed a whole MAC palette of neutral eyeshadows, which... For me it's just like Christmas in October pretty much so there we go that's my MAC palette and for another video I might do a tour of that and talk about which ones are my favorites and so as a little ending to this video I thought I would insert someone who's very important to me 
and is probably going to be a regular contributor. He has amazing taste in fashion and, as you can see, is pretty gorgeous and puts me to shame in my fashion choices. This is Fufu, and he's my baby, and I thought I would introduce him to the world through this beauty video.